top floor of this building has been turned into a little house. That's the Empire State Building. You've got this deck, two floors, and there's even this really, really tiny little balcony with kind of a view. Oh wow, you can see directly into the neighbor's apartment. That's why you should get a curtain. There's an apartment that just came up and it's in here. I think this is it. We're in Soho today. Super fun neighborhood. Look at all the restaurants. Omakase, I should know what that is. But if you look in the window, all those people with cameras, they know what it is. There's something going on in there. And look at all these tables. They are definitely expecting more than one visitor today. We've also got expensive boutiques like this frat store. You know that you and the frat brothers be wearing the same outfit right now. Sunglasses and all. The prices there are probably insanely expensive. I don't even want to know. But if you're like me and you hate shopping, eating, that's something we can all agree on. This burger place, I love the Futurama fry caricature. This red and white awning, it's a famous Italian restaurant because that's what the sign says. But the best place down here is Grey Dog. There's a bunch of these in the city. Food here is absolutely fantastic. Even the pancakes, underrated, right? You know what I'm saying. He works there, he has to say that. Look at the outdoor dining of this place. It looks like it was made from discarded furniture. That's how most of them look. It's another cafe. Next to that, we actually have a gelato place. Not enough gelato in New York City. If this place were open, look at how convenient it is. It's like right here, you just get it and go. Is everything in this window made out of salt or something? What type of material is this? I also see lots of seasoning, probably also on the pricey side. And then this can be your local juice bar. Look at how busy this place is. And it's also nice to see that there's still local businesses like this Cleaners that's probably been here for 40 years. It's old enough to have a Dan Smith guitar flyer. And they've got cameras, which means your shirts are safe. You wanna sit here? Yeah. Okay. Just before we continue, today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. Bye. Bye-bye. Sometimes life's going great, other times it's not. The last two years have had their fair share of ups and downs, lockdowns, social isolation, and it might be hard to spend time with the people that you used to have as your support group, and that's why BetterHelp is here to help. With their network of over 20,000 experienced, trained mental health professionals that you can access right from your own home or wherever you've got an internet connection. After you fill out a quick online questionnaire to assess your specific needs, you will be matched with an expert in under 48 hours. After this, you start secure video sessions at a time that works for you. You can exchange unlimited messages with your therapists even after a session has ended and everything about this is completely confidential. And you can even request a different therapist at any time. It's not a problem. BetterHelp therapists have helped over 3 million people take control of their mental health. But if you check out the link below, betterhelp.com slash cashjordan, you can get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp. This link will also be in the video description. Now let's get back to the video. should be safe back here, but just in case.
Did you know this apartment hasn't been for rent since New York's first lockdown? That was the last time anybody saw this place. It's technically penthouse level because it's top floor. The building itself has no elevator and we're on the sixth. But as you will see, that did not stop this place from renting and staying occupied. Oh, nice walk-in closet. The rent on this, it is $67.50, which is over $2,000 more than what it rented for over two years ago. It rented for $4,000 previously. Okay, $48.95 was the price in 2020. Okay, my bike is still there. The exterior here is not exactly glamorous, but it is cool and functional. You could totally like have some little plants out here. You have the actual deck area, which could totally have a hammock, table, chairs, grill. There's like a rope here that was probably attached something a long time ago, but if you want inspiration, just across the way here, past this ladder, there's another tiny house. There's only two up here, and this is the neighbor spot. Look, they got some really cool stuff. I'm gonna try not to get too close, because I don't know if they want me hanging out here, but this looks awesome. Plus, you can see One World Trade, some of the buildings in Soho, and even the Empire State right over there. The only problem is, if you're gonna live here as like a sole income earner, you're gonna have to work by One World Trade. That's the only place you'll earn enough money. But what a lot of people do is they turn this attic area up here at the top of the stairs into one of the bedrooms. Space up here is pretty interesting. It's 10 by eight from the staircase to the door. You've got the exact same view that we had out the backyard. This right here will actually accommodate an air conditioner and the other windows got bars, so security shouldn't be a problem. Although if you're afraid of living in New York, you could add 18 more locks to this door, which has safety glass. This is the extent of our balcony, but you know, we have the roof, so does it matter that this will only really fit a chair? I like the view, it's definitely a cool feature. And even if you're not using that to hang out, just opening it will let a nice breeze in here. The living room's not gigantic, it's 10 by 10. But look, we got a lot of cool storage features. I'm guessing entertainment's gonna have to go in that corner. And then over here you could have a couch and like a coffee table, I think that's about it. Oh, but a really good idea. Get one of those folding leaf tables and mount it to the wall and and have a couple of chairs in our little um, stairwell room. That way you could have a table that flips up when you need it and flips down when you don't. Interesting little kitchen. But it has everything. This is a dishwasher. Fits right there under the sink. We've also got the luxurious addition of a neon LED equipped beverage cooler, standard oven, big microwave. Look at the faucet, man. It's got this fancy looking sink sprayer with like a spring in it. That might be from the future. There's also a decent amount of cabinets, which is surprising. They go straight up to the ceiling. Oh, and look at that. There's even a little fan and a couple of lights. Now, okay, you're probably not gonna cook for 18 people in here. There's nothing stopping you from doing that, but you probably won't. And based on that, I think this is probably the right size kitchen given the amount of the space that we got here. Not a great view for bird watching, but for sleeping, this might be just fine. This is the traditional bedroom in the apartment. It is nine feet by nine feet. Bed probably goes there, and I think that's the only spot for it. Because if it's here, you can still get out of the room over to where the bathroom is and into the closet. It, it's an okay closet. It goes up really high. Too high for me to reach. Look, I can barely get up there. This is cool. There's also um, frosted glass in the door, so even if that's closed, light kind of comes in from two angles. Let's see how quiet it is with the window closed. Okay. It's great. It's uh, kind of a tight bathroom, but it's bright. And it has separate washer and dryer, not one of those awful combos. As someone who suffers with a combo washer and dryer, I think they should be illegal. Sink's decent. It's not big, but you know, you could wash both your hands at once. We got some bathroom storage above the sink. Nice big mirrored medicine cabinet. There's actually a lot of mirrors here. And then around the corner this way, we have the throne section. 
And look at this, we have even more storage right here on the wall, that's gonna be super useful. Plus up here on top of the machines, you could put like soap and stuff. Shower's not massive, but we've got stuff for soap and it's definitely usable, I guess you just won't be having a bubble bath. But hey, if you've got $6,750 to spend on rent and you don't wanna have a bubble bath, the listing agent would love to hear from you. Check out the video description and then watch pick another video up here. Subscribe if you had fun, I'll see you soon.